NASA is rolling out the new and powerful Artemis rocket, and we can finally see it. Yeah, we can see it behind Alina Shirazi live on the Space Coast to tell us about the progress and the mission ahead. Good evening, Alina. Good evening, Luann and Ray. Well, we've been waiting almost 50 minutes for this rocket to finally come out of hiding behind us here at the Vehicle Assembly Building, hopefully making a smooth rollout onto launch pad 39B, ready for its final mission to the moon. NASA calling it the most powerful rocket to date, rolling out with its capsule at Kennedy Space Center. It moves in a very, very deliberate manner, um, roughly about 0.85 miles an hour. So it takes a little bit of time to make the journey down to the launch pad. It's the first time in over 50 years a moonbound rocket left the vehicle assembly building. Christine Ramos, the business development lead for the space launch system, says this St. Patrick's Day, it's not luck, but hard work that got them to this point. I've actually followed the rocket through all of its phases. I'm just overwhelmed. I, it's been 10 years working on this, and I'm just so proud of all the people that I've been working with. The rocket started off at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi, came over on a barge, was stacked in the Vehicle Assembly Building, and now moving along onto its last stop before the white dress rehearsal, essentially a dry run of the launch. The deputy chief engineer for the SLS booster says if all goes as planned, that should happen in about a week. To truly be part of a national asset like the SLS launch system and, and to share that with not only my colleagues but with my peers and, and, and the nation at large, um, it's really rewarding. NASA says they're waiting to see what happens with the wet dress rehearsal before they officially decide on a launch date. They think that could happen, those opportunities, in May and June. For now, we're live at Kennedy Space Center, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.